Hello everybody and welcome to my Starters Hints and Tips uh, Guide um, for Plutocracy, a cool little 2D economic simulation game. Um, I'm just, I, I came, I've decided to do this because I bought the game and the in-game tutorial, because it's an early access game, is um, a little bit limited. So it's a bit confusing when you drop into it at first. It's very, very hard to get your, your to, to see what you're supposed to be doing and how you're supposed to be making money. Um, it does take a bit of getting used to. So I found a way, a couple of ways that uh, has made me a multi-millionaire and um, I've, I've I've played this game through for about 10 hours now and I've I'm, I've you know a huge net worth that the in the other game and I, I'll show you the playthrough in that one too if of interest so like this this is this is how it, this is what worked for me and I'm going to walk you through it and it's very very simple and absolutely anybody can do it so um if you're new to my channel if you haven't seen my videos before please don't be afraid to sub hit that subscribe button um hit the like button and definitely make some comments and let me know I'm on the right track on this one so without further ado we'll get cracking into the game okay first way to make money in this game is to buy um items so you'd see auctions popping up in the the, the corner so you just hit it and you know you'd hit uh, participate so make sure to buy for less than the market price for obvious reasons because you lose money if you if you buy for greater than it so what these items do is you then can go to a company and um, any shareholder you'll find in the company you can see if they have the ambition to buy that which is a green so once there's a bit of green on that and their ambition it means you can fulfill it so when you go into the fulfill into the little the, the thing that the ambition bar you put your price on it make sure to put it the whole way over to the right to make the max amount of profit you can also get um leave it cheaper if you want to get more loyalty from the character and what they'll do is they'll reward you with obviously cash hopefully a profit and they will also give you a character that you can use for other actions. Um, you'll also get you'll you'll, you'll gain um, you'll gain loyalty. You'll gain um, influence as well by by selling items. Well, sorry, you, you lose influence by selling them, but you gain it by buying it. So um, next thing to do is actually um, that's the, the the first way to make money. The second way to make money is pretty good is loans right and um, so when you go into a character you will see it there and um, you'll obviously see the green again which the green it looks like a cap to me but it's it's not so when you see their ambition it's actually to, to get X amount of money so you'll see the amount of money that they're looking for and you'll see you know their percentage de chance of a default so obviously the lower chance of default the better and um, now what I found is in the early game in particular um, use you know use use the, the loans max it out to 20% you don't need loyalty you don't need the characters to be loyal you need to make money because you can't buy shares without money so my what I, I recommend is always put them the loans up to plus 20 be careful about who you actually give the loans to because if you're giving something some to a loan somebody a loan who's at 97% chance of defaulting well sure that's just wasting your money and um, so there I'll show you in a second what happens is people will default um, but if you play it clever you can actually make quite a lot of money at this and particularly in the early game you know give somebody 20 grand 20 percent interest you know bang you're, you're starting to make you know it's not huge money but you're starting to make a bit of money and you will see the profit level in when, before you make the deal so it's it's interesting in that in that perspective now you will have defaults like this guy he owed me money and he, uh, he he didn't pay up so what happens there is as you keep them um, you i have characters you collect characters by fulfilling ambitions for characters for people so i know it's still the red guys are defaulted loans the green ones are still repayment or sorry still in repaying or going to be repaid so you click on the red guy and you have a collector it gives you your chance it's usually 70 percent unless they have a character flaw that kind of you know makes them more susceptible to debt collection and um, and your your heavy your goon goes out and he'll obviously talk nicely to the guy uh, see, see what he's going to do um, and or beat the living crap out of him I'm not quite sure I don't care once I get my money back so um, that takes a little bit of time so it that'll work away in the background so um, what it is it's the same as when you're buying shares it's a it's a negotiation thing so there is a chance of failure so you will see a bar now in a second which will give you know a green and red um you know and it'll, it'll success so here we are so obviously if it's in green it's going to succeed if it's in anything else you're in trouble so there we are bang i got my money back you do lose the loyalty that you gave him because you look for your money back which is a bit unfair but that's the mechanic of the game so you, you, you once once you're fulfilling ambitions you're getting characters so generally you will pick up a few of these collectors which is the ones you want and 
if you're given if if you're you're given a loan and money which I'm, which I great I really suggest you do because it's it's a great way to make money you'll need as many of those as you can because you will have defaults so literally after that what you're doing is you're going into companies it doesn't matter once you have um kind of gone through say if you start in texas um and you're going into companies and you're not seeing very many green ambitions that you can fulfill or there's not that many people looking for cash or whatever it then just up sticks and move so there's no penalty it just costs you maybe two thousand dollars maximum um to to take a train to whichever state you want to do so generally i started in texas in this game um, they were actually decent enough um, payers in, in Texas. They didn't default um, that much. Um, but uh, New York as well was quite good. Um, I found that they were good payers too. But some of the other states uh, were pretty, pretty poor. Now, you go to New York, like it's a matter of just going to a company. It doesn't matter. I generally pick the top company with the most shareholders just because it has the, um, you know, it's the most people in it. So, um like what so so what what you're doing is you'll be doing auctions as well at the same time so you'll be getting money in from giving them the, from giving loans out which you can then buy items in auctions which you can then for sell for profit which you can sell to guys to fulfill their ambitions you so you're gaining people's loyalty you're gaining achievements which gives you skill points which you can then spend so all in all it's a it's a slow kind of a process and all in all i took it took me about an hour and a half of game time with a little bit of playing around so i probably could have done it in about an hour to get my first million um, and i can show that but it's it's literally a lot of going into companies pick a shareholder and don't forget that they have connections so even if you don't see a green on the front screen when you go into a shareholder into a company for example don't stop there click on the first shareholder and see his connections usually he will have five or six guys that he knows guys and girls that he knows so he he they may need money they may have something that you want they may have a trophy they may want um, look for a trophy so drill into it now it's a little bit of clicking and a little bit of of, of going through it but look it's 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 something it's, it's a game i actually i i was i was very close to giving up after about two hours i was damn close to hitting that steam refund button it really was but when i found this method it gave it it, it actually worked i started making money and i started feeling actually you know what this isn't bad i'm enjoying this so i've stuck with it i, I actually have my other game i keep recording it so i i'll I'm, I'm i'm gonna put that up as well but i have it I, I got to my first million and once you make your first million you know it becomes a little bit easier after that and what i did is i, I my whole you know the whole aim of this is to make money to own companies so my full intention on this was to get a million dollars so as i'd be well able to get a, a, a majority or a very very large shareholding in a company and this this method worked a treat it worked an absolute treat for that so it it 100 percent allowed me to get a, a decent i went in and i bought 40 percent shares and something and then i was able to you know keep doing this process to keep the money coming in and you know gain an ambition gain and all the, that sort of stuff and then i was able to get more money in and buy the full majority shareholding and do that and in the if in in this game further on when i've done it i have you know 60 percent of some transport company can't bryant transport in texas and uh it's it's gone from i think the shares cost me one and a half million uh to buy to get like 60 odd percent and i it's now worth like you know my net worth is about 16 or 17 million so it's just it's just ramped up so i can do another video on on, on how to set up your company when you do get into it but the key thing is as as i said starting out auctions buy buy as much property as you can it's going to come in very very useful you will need it so absolutely buy as much as you can and um, so the, the 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 next thing as well is loans loans get you a lot of money in so um just be clever about it don't be going giving <laughs> loans where there's 90 percent unless you want to give influence which i which you may have to do um at, at a later date so the, the benefits of it is if you give um if you give loans you you get um you get loyalty points from that person usually 25 you also get an agent off them and secondly you will get you know you, you get money because you can ramp up always go with 20 percent at the start of the game
simple as that make as much money as you can then you can actually own the company buy a company which is what you need to do okay so in a nutshell that's the, the that's the end of the, the quick start a little bit clicky a little bit grindy in a way but it actually does work out it's loans are definitely the easiest way to make money in this game in the early game in particular it still works out actually in the late game funny enough when the loan amounts are much greater you know the people can be looking for 1.2 million so you know do the math on that if you're getting 20 percent interest well happy days so um so definitely so the, the, the recap is buy buy products or buy items as much as you can in auction lower lower than market price as always right and um, don't buy for above market price because you will just lose money um, and secondly loans 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 that's all you can do um, but from a skill point point of view given that you're not actually you know you're not generating any passive income i.e share income i would suggest maybe going for finances and um, which reduces your uh, your maintenance uh, by by 15 i think it's 10 uh, 5 15 and 30 percent or whatever it is but definitely i'd, re I'd recommend that and um, but you're free to choose however which way you want to play it so that's your call but um the the, the other benefit of actually giving out loans is you're fulfilling ambitions same as with, with products with items you're fulfilling ambitions which generates loyalty which generates influence which generates you cash money which is what you need so you will get enough money by doing this you a hundred percent will get enough money you'll make a million it took me an hour and a half in game to do it it's not that hard and once you get that m the big money you know a million plus you can buy shares and companies and that's when it gets more fun really fun it gets a lot funner than this so it becomes less grindy so stick with it follow this process and um, by all means please make comments below if 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 you think i'm off the walls and this one if, if it worked for you please do let me know if it works if you enjoyed it let me know and um, please don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button hit the like um, and what i'll do is if, if there's if, if people are interested in it i'll definitely do more because I, I think it's a great game to play so i really enjoy it even though it is an early access game it's quite complete it's very playable so definitely like comment and subscribe please thank you very much